Hey, I'm Slim. And I'm Eddie. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to bleed the brakes on an airplane. So the aircraft we got here today is a variation of a Cessna 150. It's actually a mock-up. We don't know exactly which model it is because uh, it doesn't have a data plate. And usually that's on the tail of the aircraft. And we're currently missing that component. There are a couple different ways of bleeding brakes. There's a top-down method and a bottom-up method. Unless you're a really bendy guy or an octopus, you're probably going to want to use the bottom-up method. Today we're going to be demonstrating the bottom-up method. This is running new fluid from the bleeder valve in the caliper up through the master cylinder in the cockpit. We find this a little bit easier to do because you can do it with a single person and sometimes it's even a little bit faster. The tools that we're going to be using today are a hydraulic hand pump with a clear hose attached. We want to use a clear hose so that we can see any air bubbles that might be coming out of the hydraulic hand pump. We'll have a pipe fitting attached to a clear hose going into a catch can to catch the 5606 hydraulic fluid after it comes up through the master cylinder. We have our 5606 hydraulic fluid, a bleeder wrench, you can also use a box end wrench if you don't have a bleeder wrench. We have a towel for any cleanup we might need plastic gloves to protect our hands. Always want to have AC4313 available to you when working on an airplane and our maintenance manual is here on the laptop. So as you can see here we are actuating the brake master cylinder with the rudder pedal. There's hardly any resistance there. We are not pressurizing the brake system hardly at all. This is what we would call an ungood, unairworthy throw you into a pile of rocks or throw you into a runway light kind of bad situation. So we're going to bleed the brakes to fix it. We will start by placing the pipe fitting in the top of the brake master cylinder. You can see the white plastic pipe fitting here in the top of the brake master cylinder. Next we will place the clear plastic hose on the pipe fitting. Make sure that that's secured on the pipe fitting. Next, we will put the clear plastic hose in the catch can and make sure that this submerges in the fluid in the bottom of the catch can. Next, we are getting our hydraulic hand pump hooked up to the bleeder valve with this clear hose here. And once you've got that hooked up, you can either use a bleeder valve wrench or in this case, I've got a quarter inch ignition wrench. So we're going to slide that on and open up the valve. Make sure your hose is good and hooked up and then commence the pumping. Next we are going to watch the clear plastic hose at the top of the brake master cylinder for hydraulic fluid to come out. As the hydraulic fluid comes out, we're gonna keep pumping until there's no more air bubbles and watch for any contaminants. Once you see that there are no air bubbles or contaminants being pushed through the clear plastic hose on the master cylinder, you can go ahead and come back to the bleeder valve and shut it while you've still got the hydraulic hand pump hooked up. Just like that. And clean up. Once you've closed the bleeder valve, you can refer to the maintenance manual or 4313 for the proper torque specs. After closing the bleeder valve inside the cockpit, we'll remove the catch can, the clear plastic hose, and the white pipe fitting from the top of the brake master cylinder. We'll also install this red plug back in the top of the brake master cylinder to stop any contaminants from getting in there and any fluid from leaking out of there. Once the plug is on the top of the brake master cylinder, we will check to see if we have pressure or firmness in the pedals here. And you can see that this is very firm compared to what it was when we started. The last thing we want to check is to make sure that we've got movement on the brake caliper as we actuate the brake master cylinder in the cockpit. there it was indeed we can see that the brake caliper is calipering thank you for watching if you like this video or just enjoy planes like we do 
check out some of our other videos. We'll see you in the next one.